Okay, so yeah, hey guys, it's me, your YouTuber who never goes on camera. I'm back, I'm gonna start using the camera a little bit more. I mean, I have a professional level camera, I have a studio, I may as well fucking use it. So, in this video, I'm gonna be talking kind of theory, I'm not gonna be showing anything, I'm just gonna be talking about the best development methods right now, in my opinion. Now, I will probably be using Excel Draw as well, just because I find it easier for myself to, when I'm laying down points and things. But yeah, I have a pretty good way to switch uh, to Excel Draw. Uh, so if I just press this button on my phone, for example, this should now be, you should now be able to see my screen. Okay, so let's talk about the best of the best. So this is my tier list for coding uh, AI dev, let's say, right? This is my tier list. I think this is really important to do. I'm probably gonna do this every so often, right? Because I really feel like there's a lot of crap out there and I really wanna help people actually kind of sift through it. So the first one, number one, tier S plus, right? I might actually do an actual tier maker one time, but let's just say Claude code. Everyone knows I'm gonna write it. Everyone knows that I'm a massive fan of Claude code. This is what I use every single day. I'm gonna say Claude code with, without, uh, sorry, context engineering. Let's just go medium here. Without context engineering. <clears throat> I'm putting this at number one because this is what I use every single day. I use Claude code without context engineering. That is because I'm working on projects that already exist. If you are starting a new project, Claude code with context engineering, right? I would highly recommend. You can find this template or this um, document in the description of this video. Hopefully that'll help you out guys. Uh, I'll make sure to put it in the description of this video. But this is the context engineering template that I basically have come up with. Let me just quickly open my school community. The reason being is because I made a post on this recently. Okay, so you may agree or disagree with this. This is with um, either with Sonnet or Opus, in my opinion. I still think they're better, even if it's using Sonnet, personally. That's just how I think about it. Now, you might be surprised by the next one. It's actually Klein. Uh, I'm going to put slash Roo just because they're very similar. And I'm going to say with GPT-5 for front end and uh, Claude for back end, right? So I think this is important to note. In my opinion, Klein and Roo will be Codex. They'll be pretty much any other system, right? Except Claude Code. Claude Code definitely is the best. But I would say Klein and Roo are a pretty close second, to be honest with you. I actually would use Climb with GPT-5 happily if it wasn't expensive, right? I use Claude Code because I have the max plan and it's cheap. And also because it's really, really good at back end. But if I wanted to make a full stack or if I wanted to just do front end, I probably would look at using GPT-5 with um, Klein or Roo. By the way, guys, just quickly to mention, if you are interested in joining the school community, it'll be the first link in the description of this video. And then also in the description of this video, there is a link to Bright Data with my promo code. You get $15 when you add your own um, billing details and they actually have an amazing MCP server. Bright Data is really, really good, guys. Definitely check it out. Okay, with that being said, what is next? Now, you probably will expect what I'm going to put next, to be fair. I'm going to put Gemini 2.5 or I'm going to put Gemini CLI. Now, I am not sure this is with uh, 2.5 Pro, by the way. Now, I'm not sure whether the, this should go above Klein or not. Um, these two are pretty pretty close, I would say. I, I still think Claude Code is definitely first. Um, I would probably use Gemini CLI over Klein if money was a problem. If not, then Klein and Roo with GPT and Sonnet should actually beat out Gemini. Okay, and then what is next? So the next one, in my opinion, is Replit and um, Augment Code. Now these might be better, but the problem that I find with these um, specifically is that they're a little bit harder to customize. If you want to build HTML, CSS, and JavaScript on Replit, as far as I know, it doesn't actually work. And as a lot of you know, I kind of recommend the HTML, CSS, JavaScript stack, right? So Replit augment code, they're a little bit too controlling over what direction you want to go, right? So that's why I actually don't use them, uh, even though people say that they are very, very good. And then right at the very bottom, which is quite funny, to be honest with you, I'm going to put Codex. Codex is trash. Like, I really, oh, this is OpenAI. I really do not recommend wasting your time with Codex, right? Now, there's one that is very clearly missing here, and that's Cursor with GPT-5 and Claude. Now, I'm just not sure. I haven't tested this enough, right? 
Um, I think this will be one of the better combinations, Cursor with GPT-5 and Claude. I just haven't had time to fully test all of these different systems. Everything else I have tested. I have tested literally every single one of these. The only one I haven't tested is Cursor with GPT-5 and Claude. Maybe let me know in the comments of this video if you think they're good. So let's just go a little bit through this. So Claude Code is easily number one, right? Both for price and honestly for power. I would, it, it's a 10 out of 10 for price and power, I'd say it was also a 10 out of 10, right? Klein and Rue price is going to drop because you're paying API costs. Power, I would say 9 or 10. I would just say that little bit of extra power for Claude Code comes from things like MCP usage and how easy it is and also just like the technology behind it. If you don't know, they weren't sure whether they should actually release Claude Code to the public. Gemini price is, I think, a 10. I think it's really, really cheap to use. Power, I would say, again, 9 or maybe 10 out of 10. It's a really, really good one, to be fair. Replit and Augment Code price, again, let's just drop it down to 5 because I don't know whatever other number. Actually, for power, I'm going to say 10 out of 10 for this. Like, Replit and Augment are very, very good. I just don't like that they're fully paid, if that makes sense, Like, and they're a third party. The reason I like Claude Code being paid is because it's Claude. It's anthropic, right, if that makes sense. But Augment Code, just not sure. Uh, Codex OpenAI, I'm going to be fair and give them a price of 10 and then a power of 0. Um, and then Cursor, like I said, I just haven't, I haven't tested it fully. But I would say this would probably be a pretty good combination as well. As for other things like Windsurf, etc., I just don't, I don't even bother with. So, how can we summarize this video in just a few sentences? Number one would be use Claude Code, right? That would be number one. Number two is if you don't want to use Claude Code, use Klein or Roo, right? These are all kind of different things. Claude Code, Gemini, and Codex are all CLI tools. And then Klein and Roo are Visual Studio Code extensions. Augment is a Visual Studio Code extension. And then Replit is actually its own website. So it's kind of, in some ways, comparing bananas and oranges or apples and pears or apples and oranges, whatever the fucking expression is. But I can very clearly say if I'm trying to build something, I would use Claude Code, right? Just 100%. If I'm trying to create something with a beautiful front end, I would probably do that with GPT-5 first on Klein or Roo, and then take that code, take its Claude Code, and make the back end with the superior Claude Code system. Now, this is kind of just all in my opinion, right? So you can either believe this or not. Like, you can comment below what you guys think as well. I'll be very, very curious to know what people think. This is my tier list for AI dev. I would say anything under... No, that's not actually fair. Claude Code is not a waste of time. Klein and Root are not a waste of time, but you do have to pay API costs, so just be wary of that. Gemini Client is not a waste of time. Replay Augment Code... I don't use them. I consider them a waste of time, to be honest with you. Sorry, whoever made it. but And then Codex, waste of time. Like, Codex is just absolutely trash. It, 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 if I could, I'd put it all the way down here, basically. I'll leave the video there, guys. That was just a quick one. Tier list for August for AI dev. Let me know what you think. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. And if you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.